If you're looking for a marketing automation tool, then maybe you've considered Drip and ActiveCampaign, which are two popular choices. In this video, we're going to compare their features, user interfaces, integration options, and pricing to help you determine which one might be the best fit for you and your business. All right, let's start with their features. Drip allows you to send single emails or set up workflows which are more elaborate automations. They start with a trigger, like someone submitting a form on your website, and then take the subscriber through a customized journey, which can consist of emails, among other things. There are a number of triggers to choose from, and you can add additional steps like actions and goals. You can create workflows that are as complex or as simple as you'd like. This allows you to create a truly personalized experience for your users. They give you plenty of templates to choose from, making the setup even easier. And I wanna show you how cool this is and how much you can do with their workflow builder. Check this out. If you're creating a campaign, you can even begin with a trigger that has nothing to do with Drip. For instance, you can connect Drip with your Calendly account and choose from triggers like an invitee creating or canceling a Calendly event. That's pretty cool. Being able to capture all of this in the visual workflow builder helps you create the perfect user journey that's incredibly tailored based on their actions. ActiveCampaign at a glance offers a few more features. You can send single emails and also create campaigns and their version of campaigns, as Drip calls them, is automations. For their automations, they have something called recipes, which are basically templates. Here's the thing though, there are over 200 recipes that you can download for free, and in total, their customers have leveraged over 1.5 million. You can search for recipes by industry, and they also offer a number of filters. What this means is essentially countless ways to interact with your users, and you don't even have to start building your automation from scratch, unless you want to, of course. ActiveCampaign also has something called deals. Here you can create a pipeline, which is how your sales team can keep track of the status of each contact and where there might be potential opportunities with leads. There's more. With ActiveCampaign, you can create forms and pages. There's the content manager to store, organize, and share assets. You can create site messages, and you can even set up site tracking. So between the two, ActiveCampaign offers a little bit more in terms of features and functionality. Next, let's talk about the ease of use and the interface. Drip simplicity, which can be a great thing, is evident in its user interface. It's very clean and easy to navigate, it's super intuitive, and it's pretty hard to get lost. When I was playing around with it, I even had a pretty easy time getting set up and learning how to use the various features, and this was before I even touched any support docs or YouTube videos. Because ActiveCampaign does more, there's going to be more of a learning curve. That's not a bad thing, especially considering it's more powerful. You're going to want to spend more time organizing and building out your list of contacts, although they can handle the migration for you if you're moving over from another tool. And in particular, the deals section had me scratching my head just a little bit. That's the part I had to spend the most time reading about because it didn't feel quite as intuitive. Again, not a bad thing, but rather just something to be more aware of. I would say both tools are beginner friendly enough. If you're a more experienced marketer and you need something that can help you handle your sales tasks, ActiveCampaign will probably be the better fit between the two. All right, let's move on to e-commerce integrations. Now, Drip was actually made for e-commerce brands, although anyone can use it. You can integrate your account with all sorts of relevant platforms, software, and tools like WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Shopify, and even a custom store. And there are plenty more ways to set up integrations. If you wanna integrate with your CMS, CRM, analytics, SMS, social media, and on and on, Drip might be able to do some of the heavy lifting for you. And especially considering that you probably wanna leverage Drip to enhance your email marketing efforts as an online business, integrations for forms like Google Forms, lead generation like ClickFunnels, and your CRM, if you wanna keep your current CRM, all of that can be of immense value. With ActiveCampaign, they have more than 940 apps that you can connect to, including Shopify, Salesforce, Facebook, WordPress, ClickFunnels, and many, many more. It seems pretty comparable to Drip in terms of integrations and how much you can leverage it to really support your email marketing strategies. Remember that you might not have to use integrations. 
They're not mandatory, but it kind of goes back to the potential for customization. Both Drip and Active Campaign give you a lot of freedom and flexibility to create unique and personalized experiences for your users. Next, the biggest question people usually ask, what's it gonna cost? Drip is based on how many subscribers you have, and it's a sliding scale. The more contacts you have, the more you're gonna pay. The features do change slightly. For example, for 2,500 people, you're paying $39 a month and you only get email support. But once you hit 5,500 people and you're paying $99 a month, you get email and chat support. Also, once you hit 32,500 subs and you're paying $4.89 a month, Drip does switch from allowing you to send unlimited emails to capping you at 390,000 emails a month. That's a lot, and if you're nowhere near 32,500 contacts, maybe this isn't even a consideration for you, but if you are, or if you plan to try to get there, it's something to think about. You will only pay more and more over time. Active Campaign, on the other hand, has various monthly subscriptions based on what tools you want, so marketing versus sales and so on. It also depends on how much access and how many features you want, light, plus, professional, or enterprise. There's another layer to this, and that is how many contacts you need. For example, if you choose Marketing Plus and opt for 2,500 contacts, the price already jumps to $99 a month. That's a $50 increase from the package's base price. That's a lot. We can't really compare the pricing of these tools apples to apples because they're just too different. But as I said, do keep in mind that drip pricing will keep increasing as long as your list keeps growing. And with Active Campaign, the thing I notice is that the monthly costs increase pretty dramatically. We're talking about increases of 20, 30, $50 a month, and that's purely based on your number of contacts alone. Consider also, if you plan on switching from light to plus, as an example, um, that's another price increase. What are people saying about each tool? On G2, at the time of this recording, Drip has 459 reviews and 4.4 out of five stars. Users like the campaign management tool in particular, but they also call out technical issues and the pricing. Active Campaign has a much bigger customer base. On G2, we're looking at almost 11,000 reviews and 4.5 out of five stars, so a little better than Drip. It's applauded for its automations and campaign management, but people are also saying that it's slow, expensive, and not very user-friendly. That's what we talked about earlier. There's a learning curve. But both platforms have great success stories. The Spice House used Drip and saw a 90% increase in year-over-year -year sales. They 183x their ROI, and there was a 40% increase in their list size. Paperbell used Active Campaign and started gaining 2,500 new subs per month and saw 100% growth in their revenue influenced by email. So to wrap this all up, Drip and Active Campaign are both great platforms. Drip is more specific to setting up campaigns and automations, while Active Campaign is more holistic in its offerings and also offers tools to help you sell. If you want something more specific and straightforward, and especially if you want something catering to e-commerce, you might find Drip to be a better option. If you want something more robust that brings more responsibilities under one roof, that's Active Campaign. However, there is another tool that is truly all in one and allows you to manage marketing and sales and customer support and your CRM all within one platform, and that's EngageBay. Whether you're a solopreneur, an SMB, or a larger business, EngageBay will scale right alongside you, and you cannot beat the pricing. The most robust, all-inclusive plan is only about $120 a month, and that includes unlimited contacts, which is something you're going to have a really hard time finding with another comparable tool. Customers love EngageBay, giving it 4.6 out of 5 stars on G2. One of its biggest strengths, customer service. EngageBay prides itself on supporting its users so you get the absolute most out of your subscription. You can start for free and even take advantage of the forever free subscription plan. So if you want to take it for a spin, just scroll down and click the link in the description below to sign up. That's all for today. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and drop us a comment to say hello. Let us know what marketing automation tools you've tried and what your experience was like. See you next time.